unlike India, the excitement and thrill is never missing thanks to its ever-growing population, traffic and religious zeal. Add to this the number of festivals that Indians celebrate due to the many religions that coexist here and you have a year-long party. In Delhi, the area of CR Park or Chitaranjan Park turns into a mini Bengal during Pujo. Yes, this transformation is seen during the 10-day festival of Durga Puja around October each year. One of the most famous festivals in West Bengal, especially Kolkata, is all about honouring the goddess in every woman. The festival celebrations are kick-started on the auspicious occasion of Mahale, with Bengalis and non-Bengalis greeting each other with Shubho Mahale. Mahale is the day when Goddess Durga is believed to have descended to earth, back to her parents' home. Mahale is supposed to be the end of the Pitri Pakko. And after that, this uh, Devi Pakko starts, which covers a fortnight. In this fortnight, from the first day after Mahale, from the, this uh, Devi Pakko, this Durga Puja, is started and on the last day of Pitri Bhakko that is in Mahala this Chukhudan that is the giving of the eyes to the Durga idol is given on that day on the Mahala day this is supposed to be the largest outdoor festival on this earth however before we get into the grand celebrations of Durga Puja, it is important to know one of the most important and sacred rituals of the festival one such practice is that of using soil from the home of a sex worker to prepare the Durga idols. This is one of the ultimate ways of paying respect to women. According to Hindu rituals, for the preparation of the Durga idol, four things are of extreme significance. Mud from the banks of the Ganga, cow urine, cow dung, and soil from a brothel, also known as Nishiddha Pali, or forbidden territory. When the idol of the goddess is being painted, the eyes are left without colour. When Ma Durga is invited to earth on Mahale, the eyes are finally drawn on the idols in a ritual called Chokudan. On Panchami, the ritual of invoking the spirit of the goddess into the idols takes place. Last year, the Pujo at Matri Mandir was inaugurated by the Minister of Textiles, Smriti Irani, on the day after Panchami as the Pandal there got flooded due to a sudden, heavy downpour. With around 17 Pandals in CR Park alone, our team got to experience the grandeur of Durga Puja celebrations in CR Park, Matri Mandir in Saftarjang Enclave and Katwariya Sarai. The Durga Puja celebrations in Katwariya Sarai are fairly different from those in Siyar Park or Matri Mandir. The Oriya community of Katwariya Sarai follows their own Oriya way of celebrating the festival. At every few meters during the days of the festivities, one finds stalls offering mouth-watering foods to satisfy cravings that take over after long walks from one pandal to another. People dressed up in their best attires make the streets break out in a riot of colours. The early sound of the dhaks beaten by the dhakis brings everyone together to dance without a care, especially when people from different walks of life pick up the dhunuchi to match the beats of the dhak. Dhunuchi, a Bengali incense burner, used during dhunuchi nach, a ritualized dance worshipping the goddess of power. The tenth day of Pujo is Vijaya Dashami or Bijaya when Ma Durga comes out victorious against the demon Mahishasur and restores balance on earth. The day begins with a ritual called Darpan Visarjan, where before the idol is lifted from its home, the priest symbolically immerses the idol 
by capturing its reflection in a bowl of water. At this point, married women take their last darshan of the goddess reflected in a mirror, followed by Sindur Khela performed by women playfully smearing the million on each other. This tradition is celebrated by married women only, watched on by other women. Sindur, the patriarchal symbol of marriage, becomes a symbol of sisterhood through two powerful dots. However, seeing women of different religions perform with the Bengalis fills one with a sense of unity. The idols are then carried to local rivers for immersion. Siyar Park Durga Puja Samiti arranged for a pond to be dug in the Mela ground in order to reduce pollution in the already polluted Yamuna River. The Matri Mandir and Katwariya Sarai idols were also immersed in man-made ponds. Amid loud chants and drum beats, idols are immersed, bidding Ma Durga a warm farewell. This year, with a mandate of caution and social distancing, we hope our recap of last year's joyous Durga Puja celebrations keeps you safe and healthy at home. Happy Pujo!